I can equip in my inventory. Uh, what's this now? Um, energy dampening armor, Mark One, common body armor, bind on equip. And uh, let's see what I already have actually. Okay, that um, focus fire kit, tactical kit, and this kit is vascular regenerator. Cure bleed and hot. Plus one, two, three hit points over ten seconds. It removes all expose effects. Removes up to ten, sorry, eleven bleed or debuffs effects. Plus fifteen percent all damage resistance for ten seconds. Okay, I don't really need that just at the moment. Uh, is this better than the one I've got? Plus six point six, and the one I have equipped. Uh, this one. Integrated targeting armor, 4.6. Well, let's just change it, what the hell. Just see if it looks any different. Okay. Uh, yeah, it does. Cool. Hey, I'm a red dude now. Excellent. On with the mission. Uh, can I just point something out? You can, um, uh, you, if you want to just sort of stand back, uh, your your guys, um, this little, uh, actually they've changed all this too by the looks of it. They've changed all the colours on that. Um, I don't know why they did that. I think it was quite cool the way it was actually. These all had yesterday all had coloured uh, icons here, but. Anyway, you can still mouse over them and see what they do. But anyway, um, if you uh, click on this one, and if you want to send your guys in, uh, you click on it, and then you, uh, sorry, you just click where you want them, to, where you want your squad to go, and you can send them, uh, you can send them all for forward. I think this sex all of them, I think. Yeah, for all the crew. So if I click uh, around about there. Off they'll go, and they can uh, go and start the battle, as you can see. And I can stand back a little bit, let them take a bit of the heat. Not that it matters here, to be honest, but uh, there we go. Enemy see targets on but they do still tend to, one or two of them might still tend to come to you, it depends how far back you are. But you know, it. Depending on the mission you do, and it could be very useful that. So that's good. And to to uncheck uh, it, to set it back to just normal mode where they follow you everywhere. I'll show that in a minute. Just deal with these guys. As you can see, they're not a problem. That's all them dealt with. If I go in closer to them, I should maybe get. Uh... Anyway, as I was saying, if you right-click on that now, it it deselects them, and you know, they just go back to follow mode. So I, I thought that was a quite a cool. Uh, plus, you can also p choose them individually as well uh, by clicking here to do different things. So you can send one off, you know, if you want to, you know, send one into the fray sort of thing. So I thought that was quite good. Uh, catfish sandwich. <laughs> Where do they get these ideas from? I don't know. Um, a small shield charge. And small hypo. And I think scan for the uh, guy. Scan, say here, scan for the Undine. So let's have a look. Captain, it appears the Undine has eluded us. However, I'm picking up residual traces of transport activity in the vicinity. I believe that the Undine may have beamed to a hidden ship in orbit. Continue. Uh, I recommend that we return to the Wyoming and search for the Undine ship. 
We need to find the Undine and take it back to Starfleet. Return to your ship and find the Undine vessel. Okay, here we go. Beam up. Captain, there is an Undine ship on an intercept course. Okay. Sir, the Wyoming doesn't have the armaments to handle an Undine attack. Starfleet reports that it is sending ships to assist us, but that it will take two minutes for them to arrive. We have to hold Oh, excuse me. We have to hold out until the reinformers get here, Captain. If we target their if we target their torpedoes, we might have a chance. Defend your ship from the Undine until Starfleet reinforcements arrive. Okay. So here it comes. Warning. The dreadnought. Ship is under attack. Okay, that's high yield. Let's just move. Way. Oof. Let's go and have a closer look at this vessel, shall we? I've seen that before. We get the uh, I think we get the cavalry in a minute, which is cool. Okay, as you can see, I am not really even doing any damage to this thing, but uh, well, basically. I just have to survive long enough, and then uh, we get some help then from uh, another ship that comes to help. Zoom in there so you see a nice graphic on this uh, ship here. Okay, have we got help now? Not quite yet. But when it comes, it's quite cool. Here they come. Target's shields have failed. Hull integrity below 75%. Excellent. These are the Starfleet ships here, quite cool too. Some nice designs on those. Whoa, how's that for phaser fire? Here we go. That's that mission uh, done. And these are all the guys that helped me. Scan the debris. Okay. Downloading the data now, Captain. Incoming message from the USS Kirk, Captain Stark. This is Captain Selin of the USS Kirk. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand, Lieutenant Stark. Perhaps someday you will return the favour, selling out. We've recovered the final data transmissions for the Undine vessel, as well as samples of the organic material that was used to create the ship. We need to get all of this back to Starfleet Intelligence. They may be able to decrypt the messages and tell us more. Depart the system. Nice planet that too, by the way. <laughs> 